Before this video begins, I have a quick little announcement for some of you. I have to tell you that if you like my content, and you like E3, I'll soon be doing an E3 video talking about at least the three big companies, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. If you want, keep that in mind, you can subscribe, and you'll, instead of just having to look up Zero Productions every two days, just to see if I made one of those videos. Again, not mandatory whatsoever, totally your choice. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Vizera Productions here, and before this video starts, I have to give a shout out to RGT85. He sent me, well no, he didn't send me this video, I'm subscribed to him, he subscribed to me, and basically, he made a video talking about how Atari might be coming out with a brand new console. Now, if you somehow don't know what Atari is, basically they pretty much invented the video game industry, and they stopped making consoles after the Jaguar which was to compete with the, the SNES and the Genesis. So basically, this, there's this new thing coming out called the Atari Box. There's nothing we know about it except for the fact of this short trailer you see in the background. And it just has this little wooden box, looks like an Atari console, and then it's got this light that flashes, and then there's nothing else. And then you go onto the Atari Box website, it just says subscribe and be the first to know. So you just put in your email and you get subscribed to know about it. And this is big news. So before I continue on with this, I have to say that me and Hebras are working on this video together. So his video will be in the description below. So RGT85, he looked more into this and he found out that it's not a retro console because Atari does this thing Many companies do it that don't make uh, consoles anymore, even Nintendo does it. You make a throwback console to the old days, and they just have like classic games on it. And people thought this, this Atari box would be that. But actually, it's not. It's not at all that. It's actually people, a person at the Atari Age forums got to learn about this, and while well, he can't say anything, basically he got asked some questions about it, and the thing that I really want to uh, talk about is that they asked him, okay, it's just going to be another retro console. And yeah, he said, you're getting colder. Basically, by that, he's saying that it's not a retro console. Another question, they asked him if it would play, like, Atari cartridges. Nope. So, great. This, uh, I don't know what to say because this is, like, big news. Because, think about it, what if during E3... Suddenly, um, a random press conference shows up, and it uh, involves Atari, and they're just like, Okay, we're coming out with the Atari box. It can compete with the um, Xbox One S, not as powerful as Scorpio, I would think. But it will be the go-to video game console. We will have all of these great games on it, and could you imagine that if Atari actually did come back to the industry in this huge, explosive fashion, where they actually, like... Like, bust through the door, guns blazing, talking about how this console is going to be the go-to console for for games. And if Atari does do that, that would be really interesting. But the thing is, but Atari, you gotta really market this thing and, like, advertise how special it is. And the special things about it, because if you don't, it's just gonna fall short. So, that's what I think of this. If you'd like to see RGT85's video, that will be in the description below, along with Hebra's video when it comes out. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you.